So we're starting the famous Burns Steakhouse Caesar salad. Need at the table, right? Yes. Yep. So what are you doing right now? Rubbing the bowl with a garlic clove. And then yeah. you like an old bowl that has leaves from <laughs> many Caesar salad that has yeah, was infused with all the taste yeah. from the Caesar salad, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The older it looks, the better it is. And then next to you, I can see there's some little things, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Okay. Well, I'm going to take my lemon here, pinch it, and then I'm going to squeeze the juice out. Now every lemon's different, so this is where you have some some Caesar cells that are a little more lemony, lemony than others. Then I'm just going to basically straighten the seeds out. And then I'm going to put my anchovies in. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the point where you're not going to be able to hear me uh, talk anymore. Oh, you get you very concentrated? Oh, I'm going to get into this. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna, it'll, it'll, we'll get there. There's a whole technicality of cutting those anchovies, huh? Yeah. This is where having a nice old bowl counts. You're making paste actually, right? Mm -hmm. Close to it, yeah. It disperses the flavor of the anchovy with the lemon juice, which creates salt. Much better than if you had clear lemon juice with just little bits of anchovy. So the dirtier it looks, the better it is. It's basically emulsified. Or getting there. I do this for everybody this way. Yep. So how long does it take you to do a salad from the beginning, like when you started, and then you are gonna be eating it? I always like getting a head start on it. So pretty much as soon as I bring your soups out, um, I wanna go ahead and get it working. If I have a Caesar for six people, I'm actually going to start the Caesar salad before I even bring out soups, just because it's gonna take that much time to get it going. Now here we're going to put our homemade egg substitute. So once curdled eggs were ruled out of the possibility of uh, what the state of Florida would allow, we went ahead and uh, burn created this homemade egg substitute. And this is, uh, it's really good. So you're letting the, the sense infuse before you bring in mm -hmm. the... Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to whisk it. I'm gonna go get your salads. So now the big entrance of the salad. Or well, the grand entree of the salad. The romaine. clients that do not want anchovies on the same table and some want anchovies in their Caesar salad. So how do you manage to, um, you do two different salads? You have two different bowls. Two different bowls, yep. yeah. yeah. No so do you, you like to let it rest the salad or as soon as you're done you, you like to serve it? Yeah, as soon as I uh, finish tossing it up with the cheese, I'm going to go ahead and plate it and serve it, yeah. So, the cheese, you told us what it was earlier, tell yeah. me now again. Parmesan Reggiano. Okay. And that's the little one that's left here, those are the croutons, right? Mm hmm Well, you had the croutons for the final on the fish, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 